Did you know that if we were in China drinking tea together, I've just indicated with my pinky that you're a person of poor quality and low standards? Oh, you didn't know that? Well, where could you have found out that information? Hi, my name is Victoria Burke, and I'm here to tell you about Global Citizen, a pocket culture guide app that every U.S. traveler should download before going overseas. As the saying goes, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So why be seen as an ugly American? Because you didn't take the time to understand the cultural differences between the U.S. and the country that you're visiting, whether for business or leisure. Last year, there were 31 million opportunities for U.S. citizens to be ugly Americans. And that means that whether you're traveling for business because you're part of a multinational company or an American traveling for the first time, you need to educate yourself on what the cultural differences are where you're going. For example, at a dinner table in China, what's the proper way to place your chopsticks that's not offensive and why? Or in a business meeting, which way should you hand a business card to someone when in a meeting in China? The solution is the Global Citizen Pocket Culture Guide. It includes all major countries visited by U.S. citizens, it's broken down regionally and ethnically, and it includes applications specific to both business or leisure interactions. Included in this app would be basic phrases that help you get around, and it would be spelled out phonetically and also have an opportunity to click on the face of a native speaker who would pronounce it for you. What it's not is a travel guide. It's not a sightseeing guide or a shopping guide. So what's out there right now? Basically, the only competition in the App Store is an app put out by the U.S. Air Force that is called the Culture Guide. Yet when you open it up, you'll notice that it does not include China nor most countries in Europe. So join me at the Global Citizen, the power to connect people.